the first time I encountered a possessed person, I was certainly, I was more just not confused, but unsure about what I had just experienced. So I wouldn't say I was like, oh, that's definitely real. All I knew for sure was that didn't look like any of the mental illness I had seen. It didn't fit any diagnostic criteria that I encountered before. And the the normal mechanisms you would do to like pull somebody out of, a, of that kind of distressed altered state, like had zero effect. Um, and the things talking out of the person, you know, pretty clearly knew what was going on, mocked me for not knowing what was going on, and then proceeded to just do whatever they wanted. Um, the first time I knew it was real probably was the first real solemn exorcism I was at. And um, it had been going on for a number of years. And it was the same, the same woman that I mentioned with the English, French, Latin, Lithuanian, and German. It was a brutal case that had been going on for years before I got involved. I helped for maybe a year and a half for two years. Um, and in that case, it was, uh, I guess, the first moment I really knew something preternatural was happening. <clears throat> There's kind of two versions when a demon talks out of a person. One is like moving the breath like we're talking right now, like exactly the same. You're making noises with your mouth. All that's normal. And you can do it in a deep voice and you can do it in a high voice, like no big deal. And when demons animate a body and talk out of it, they basically sound like the person, though with different inflections and a different style of speaking. But basically, it's the same vocal cords, so it's going to sound the same. There's another version of it that I've only seen once, and I saw it briefly in that case. And that was the person was on the floor during the exorcism because um, that was the safest place for everybody. And at one point they had their mouth open and their head kind of back. And there was no movement of the lungs. There was no breath being pushed out. The mouth wasn't moving. It just hung open and stayed still. And this voice echoed from all parts of the room simultaneously, this really deep, loud, as if you had like surround sound speakers in all the corners of the room and a subwoofer. And it was just like, boom. And it made this kind of growl. It sounded like something like with the chest the size of a gorilla would make. Incredibly deep noise, not human. And every fiber in you when you heard it, when I heard it and then everybody else, I don't know if you've ever like maybe been at a zoo and heard an animal that made a sound that just activated that fear thing in you biologically, kind mm -hmm. of like that's a predator, like I'm in danger, like not human, that's dangerous. It was like that, but it was more alien. It was more like not of this earth. It's hard to describe, but I saw the person's mouth wasn't moving. They weren't blowing air out. It wasn't them making a deep sound. And it was coming from all sides of the room. It wasn't just coming from them. And, and that was heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't my it wasn't me imagining something like it was like the needle on the record got dragged across and everything stopped because it was like, whoa, like that was not. Yeah, it was very strange. That was probably the moment where I knew something weird was going on. I knew it didn't match what I had seen in psychology. I saw that it responded to prayer. I saw some of the language stuff, but when that happened, I was like, well, that's alien. That's not at all. That's not something acting through a body. Like there's something else here that's the size of this room spiritually that just pulled the curtain aside just for a split second. And um, that was probably the moment that I realized truly, that was the first time I realized like, okay, this is, yeah, like it's on. Hello, Cameron here. Thanks for watching this little clip. If you want more, there's actually a whole interview this clip came from. Just uh, click the link on the screen. Oh, and by the way, we post two to three new videos a week. So if you're interested in apologetics at all, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can catch our latest content. Uh, oh, and then lastly, remember that Christianity is true.